this light and I've got a little stand, so we should be good. <sighs> okay. So, make sure this is clean. so bright. Let me turn that down. There we go. That's better, right? So we're going to talk a little bit about what you say when you interact with a cop sucker. And there's two names in the, in the title of this live that you should know. And the reason why you should know their names is because you already scanned over the NAP commission and you already scanned over the Mullen commission. You already did that. So you know that Bill Phillips was the star witness for the Knapp Commission that was published in 1972 and that you know that Frank Serpico was the star of the Mullen Commission that was in 1994. And so when, you inter when I interact with someone who's a, who's a cop sucker and they're saying how police keep you safe, I heard that today, you have to be able to have real legitimate ammunition. Now, this particular case, I didn't have, uh, there was nowhere for me to go. She was gonna rapid fire her ideas at me and tell me how it was. And I just pretty much just listened, you know, because you're not gonna, you see, there's, there's, there's some cop suckers out there that you're never gonna, you're never gonna change them. So the reason why I want you to know who Bill Phillips and Frank Serpico is, because they're, they're the star witnesses for the Knapp Commission and the Mullen Commission, the last two big police commissions that are available for free on the, on the website that you should have downloaded by now. And you should have read the Mullen Commission and the Knapp Commission. It's, it's, it's a little tiny. It's not short. I mean, it's, it's not short, but it's so fun reading. And that's why I put in community, I put in community to uh, watch that video called the Mullen Commission. How are you guys at? Wh who's, who's all here? Um, you guys do me a favor. If you come in, uh, drop a number one because I know a lot of times I just start talking and I just start going on because I have a lot of data I want to share with you because the more we know together collectively as a group, the stronger we are as a group. So that's why uh, there's the number one. Good to see you, Billy. Good to see you, Michigan. Thank you, Rosie. I appreciate it. Uh, number one, Detroit. What's going on? Cameras everywhere. What's going on? Uh, uh, Every camera counts. It's good to see you, brother. Billy, good to see you. Frank, good to see you guys. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it. So I want to I wanna talk with you to, to argue with the fool. Yeah, it, sh it sure is. Thank you, Cake. I appreciate that. That's a nice thing to say, but we haven't accomplished what we need to accomplish yet. So let's not let's not dance in the end zone until we score. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's keep the optimism for sure. But let's, you know, where's everybody from? Where are you, where are you guys at? What city? What city, town, state, country is everybody in? Where you guys? Where you guys? Where you guys watching from? And then we'll we'll jump right into it. But Arizona's in the house. I'm I'm in Palm Springs now, so I'm in California officially. Houston, one time, never stop. We don't stop ever. Keep fighting. Is that Louisiana or L.A.? Montana, Georgia. Good to see you, Georgia. Pomona's in the house. Ohio. What's going on, Ohio? How you doing? Good to see you, brother. Southern Utah. Okay, so, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend the. Um, it, I don't know if if I don't I don't know what Gavin's handle is, but Gavin, we're gonna extend the the free posters for the free codes for 24 more hours. So, uh, I'll text Gavin as soon as I get off here to extend the free poster codes. The, the free poster codes are overturn Terry versus Ohio, that's VS, or Terry versus Ohio has to go. And that's for a, a free poster download and a free ebook download. The ebook is Terry versus Ohio has to go, and the poster is overturn Terry versus Ohio. These are digital posters. It's a digital ebook. So check your email, check your spam folder if you don't get it. Okay, so that's the code for the free poster and the free ebook if you guys don't know i'm going to extend it for 24 more hours it's supposed to expire at midnight but i'm going to extend it for 24 more hours so okay that way if anybody who wants the post for the ebook and doesn't have the cash boom now you can get it 
uh, and, and I want you to get it. So <clears throat> now the thing is, is so when you go to the website, because I just gave you the free codes and those of you who can buy it, if you got some dough, you should be buying it. <laughs> um, but once now that you're going to the website, because I gave you the free code, or you're going to buy my poster, which thanks a lot. Now on the, on the website, right on the front page is free downloads. And in those free downloads are two different police commissions. One's called the NAP Commission, K-N-A-P-P, -P, and the other one's called the Mullen Commission. In the community, I posted the Mullen Commission lecture that I did. It only has 900 or 1,000 views or something. That's before anybody knew that I was on YouTube. And so I want you guys, I challenge you guys to go over to the website and download the Mullen Commission and download the NAP Commission and read them. Start with the Mullen Commission because it's so much fun. The Mullen Commission shows you everything that you thought you knew about policing and it takes it even a step further because you may have an experience about policing that you think you know something because your brother's a cop or your dad's a cop or your best friend's husband's a cop or your best friend's wife is a cop but I'll be honest with you and I say it to people all the time and sometimes people get a little bit offended but you don't know anything about policing I don't care if you're an auditor if you're an auditor and you've been auditing cops for years I don't care if you have not read the Mullen Commission you don't really know that much about the internals of policing because you haven't read it, right? So I'll give you a simple example. If you said to me, hey, you know, let me tell you everything there is about pastel art. I'm just, you know, <laughs> I'm just throwing something out there. I, I, I'm lost. Uh, I, I'm in Palm Springs at my, my uncle's uh, colleague's place out here in Palm Springs. Beautiful place. And... So when the cop sucker came to me tonight at my, I'm in a very nice place in Palm Springs. His wife came to me and, and started cop sucking because she knows kind of what I do. Doesn't really know what I do. She hasn't seen anything I produce, so I don't think she'll see this. She knows though that I'm, an, I'm, I'm, I'm here to change the world. And so she comes to me with her cop sucking and I can't get a word in edgewise. So there's no point. I don't even get to get these things out. But I want to give you guys the ammunition. I want you guys to download the Mullen Commission and I want you to download the NAP Commission and, and I want you to watch that video that I put in community called the Mullen Commission and I want you to, to, to then scan the Mullen Commission because I go over it in that video. I go over the Mullen Commission in that video. So I want you to download it from the website. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And I gave you free codes to get posters a few seconds ago. Uh, if, the po if the codes don't work, they're supposed to expire at minute automatically, but I'm going to extend them. So if you're on the East Coast and they've expired, as soon as I get off here, I will make sure that Gavin, um, if Gavin is watching, please make sure you ex extend those codes for 24 more hours for anybody who didn't get a free poster or didn't get a free ebook. So then while you're there, download the moment. So when a cop sucker comes to you, what you say to the cop sucker is, I would love to have a conversation with you, but there's a few very important factors that you and I might not share the same information about police. And they look at you and say, excuse me? And you say, well, I've read the Mullen Commission, the commission published in 1994, the same year as the 1994 crime bill. And when I read the Mullen Commission, it said that internal affairs is inept, that they don't do their job at all. They call it corruption control or cor they call it corruption prevention. <laughs> Let me be clear on something. You can't give someone absolute power over another human being and then send them to integrity training. That is not how it works. So when a cop sucker comes to you, you say, well, I would love to have this conversation with you, but there's a few very important factors, not just that you and I don't share the same information, but there's a very important thing I have to ask you before we have any conversation about your cop sucking mentality that cops are here to keep us safe. Before we have that conversation, one first question, first question. Have you ever been put in handcuffs? Behind your back, hard? They left them on you for a little while? H has that ever happened to you? Because we can't really have a conversation about your cop sucking or about your back the blue or cops keep us safe until I know, first of all, if you've ever been put in handcuffs by a cop for your safety and mine. <laughs> that, that's the first thing I need to know before we have a cop sucking conversation. Okay. So now the second question here that I have to know before we engage in a conversation about you back in the blue is, have you been to the dungeon? 
Have you been taken down to the dungeon? Booked into the dungeon? Have you been booked? Have you gone through the booking process? Did you go through the transportation down to the dungeon? And then when you got to the dungeon, did, did, they, did they roll your fingers? Across? And then did, there's the big one. Third question, because some people are not. Most people are. Were you strip searched? Did you get strip searched? Did they take off all your clothes, make you bend over and cough as people looked up your private areas? Is, did that happen to you? Because those are the first three questions. I need to know if those things have ever happened to you. Have you been cuffed? Have you been taken to the dungeon? Have you been strip searched and then put into incarceration? I guess the fourth one would be put into incarceration. Because sometimes they just do the first three where they put you in handcuffs and torture you, transport you, and then they take you to the dungeon and then they strip search you and then they let you go. Why do you think that is? <laughs> Why do you think that is? To break your will as a human being. It demoralizes you, man. It demoralizes you. It really does. Makes you feel like you've done something wrong. When you get strip searched, makes you feel like makes you feel dirty. You, you feel like you've been assaulted, to be honest. And then what you ask the cop sucker next. So now that we got those first three questions out of the way, first four questions, were you incarcerated? Because when I was incarcerated for a week after my no-knock raid, that's what entirely and utterly changed me as a human being, being in jail for a week down in Twin Towers in LA County Jail. And, and, and then, so now, the, now we got the dungeoning questions. So if your answers are no, no, and no to the first three, you and I can't have a conversation about, about police. I'm sorry, we can't talk. You, you have no idea how inhumane it is from the time you're cuffed to the time you're incarcerated. And the people along the route of going those four steps are the most horrific, heinous people that treat you like your life doesn't matter. Jalen Goodwin died on the floor. Jalen Goodwin died on the floor in the jail. They stepped over him after he collapsed to the ground. Jalen Goodwin fell to the floor and laid there. There's video of him laying on the ground and they just look at him like a sack of potatoes at the floor. So if you haven't been through those first four steps, then you and I can't really have an honest conversation about policing because you don't understand the process is so horrific. It, it's soul, soul sucking. Why is, why is that guy so mean to cops? He's been to the dungeon 20 times and has no criminal record. 20 times demoralized, 20 times dehumanized, 20 times strip searched, 20 times cuffed, 20 times skiffed, 20 times bent over naked, 20 times put into a dungeon, 20 times. It's a lot of times to bear your to bear your fruit right there in front of everybody, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so now that we got those first four questions out of the way, as you got that cop uh, uh, um, uh, breath. Now the next set of questions for us to have an intelligent conversation. Let's just say, for example, you said yes. Yeah, I've been arrested. Yeah, I've been to the dungeon. I still suck cop, right? Okay, cool. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So. So now my second set of questions is, is can we have a real conversation? Because have you even heard of the Mullen Commission in 1994? Have you heard of that? Have you ever heard of that before? Have you heard of that M-O-L-L-E-N? Have you ever heard of that thing before called the Mullen Commission? Because it's, it's, it's about this thick and it took almost four years to complete. It's this thick. That's how big it is. And there's a table of contents that'll just make your, uh, what does it say in the table? Police as narcotics dealers. It says that in the table of contents. Yes, it does. Blue wall of silence. Cops won't tell on each other. Yes, it does. Cops lie on the stand. Yes. Supervisors cheat reports. Yes. Internal affairs is inept. Yes. You mean whole sections about that? You mean brutality plus corruption? Yes. What do they say about brutality in the Mullen Commission? That almost every cop believes that a little violence is okay to hurt you. Not them. You. If a little violence is okay and officer safety is paramount, that means it's okay to hurt you. Every cop, every single cop in the Mullen Commission, a little violence is okay. So before we have a conversation about you cop sucking, have, have you read the Mullen? Okay, do you know who Frank Serpico is? Have you ever heard the name Frank Serpico before? If you haven't heard the name Frank Serpico and you want to talk about policing, I don't care who you are. You and I really can't have an intelligent conversation. Have you read Frank Serpico's testimony? Have you read the, the transcripts that Frank Serpico said in the Mullen Commission? 
Because if you haven't read them, then, you know, you and I, I just have a lot more information than you. And I don't think it would be fair to have a debate with you about cop sucking when you don't have the proper literature read to understand the depth of the problem that we're facing. I'm just saying, I'm, that's all I'm saying is you and I have different information. I don't want you to be at a disadvantage. And then have you heard, have you, have you heard of, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Have you heard of the NAP Commission? Have you ever heard of that? Have you ever heard of the NAP Commission? Have you? Have you ever heard of that? Did you know there's a star witness in the NAP Commission too? Did you know there's a couple of star witnesses in the NAP Commission? Do you know what they said in testimony about policing in America? Do you know what they said about their precincts? Do you know what they said about the anti-corruption units? Call them anti-corruption units. Oh, you don't? You, you never heard of the NAP Commission? I don't think it's fair if we have a debate about policing then in America because you haven't even heard of it. You've never even read it. You never even read it. You, you haven't even read it. You haven't even read page one. W what's the title of the Wickersham Commission from 1931? How many volumes of the Wickersham Commission are there? Dozens. There's dozens of volumes of the Wickersham. You can't read the entire Wickersham Commission. There's too many pages. It would be like reading the Bible five times. That's how many pages are in the Wickersham Commission. Because you may have heard of Lucky Luciano and you may have heard of Al Capone being the alcohol runners of America. That's not true. The number one alcohol gang in America was police. They would have Lucky's crew go through here and one of their shipments would get busted. They'd have Al Capone's shipment go through here and one of his shipments would get busted and they knew which one they were going to bust, which one they were going to let go through. And then on their shipment, they would drive a tractor trailer full of alcohol from Canada to Seattle. Roy Olmsted, Supreme Court case 1926, 1927, Olmsted versus the United States, and this case is gonna be here, heard by the Taft Court from 1920 to 1930, was the William Howard Taft Court. And the Taft Court is going to uphold the conviction of Roy Olmsted, who's a Lieutenant Police Officer, running truckloads of alcohol from Seattle to Canada. And the way that he gets caught is by uh, J. Edgar Hoover, who was placed at the head of the FBI in 1924. He, he didn't audition for the position. He was just appointed. Once again, when you appoint someone, you it, it, when you hear the word appointment plus government, <laughs> J. Edgar Hoover is appointed the head of the FBI. How does he catch Roy Olmsted? By just plugging into the phone line and listening into what he's saying. And so they say that's against your Fourth Amendment right. You're, you're, you're violating his Fourth Amendment right by listening to his phone calls. William Howard Taft, both President of the United States, I, I, have this, I messed him up one time, William Howard Taft. He was 19, 19, oh, oh God, 1909 to 1913. Taft is president 1909 to 1913. And William Howard Taft, he's then Supreme Court Justice 1920 to 1930. And he says, civil rights be damned. If we catch you breaking the law, we're going to punish you. And he upholds Olmstead's conviction. Now, this case is going to be overturned by Katz versus United States 1967. Katz versus United States is going to overrule Olmstead versus United States. That you do have a right to be secure in your effects, which is your phone. That's the reason why you have uh, the right to use your phone and the, and the FBI is not supposed, well, are they, are they not tapping into our phones? Is, is Katz dead from 67? Is the Katz holding the overruled the Olmstead holding? Oh, wait a minute. We're talking about policing. You didn't know anything about the Wickersham Commission. So you haven't read the Wickersham. You never heard of it. You haven't read the NAP. What about the Seabury Commission? Have you read the Seabury Commission? The Seabury is not available on my website. Sorry. The other three are all available on Delete Laws for free. For free. You could just read them. Boop. Boop boop be doop boop. Boop. <laughs> you could you could just read them. So now when you have a conversation with one of these cop suckers, when you have that data, then you can say, hey, look, you know, the first one is you haven't been those four steps of the dungeon. You haven't been cuffed, transported. And then went through booking, got get get your get your strip searched, and get and then get, go through your incarceration. It's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. It, it it's so. There's the first part, and then the second part is if you haven't read. And by the way, if you're an auditor and you and you and you're hanging out and, and like and like you know I, I I you know how much respect I have for auditors. I'm, I've created a coin called TAC that's going to bail you out of jail if your civil rights are violated. Uh, you know, we saw frickin' media get arrested. TAC coin would bail him out. 
at no cost to him and we'll sue that police department. That's the first thing I asked him. You saw on freaking media, the cops arrested him, right? And so the first thing I wanted to know was, well, who's doing your lawsuit? I put it, you guys let, let freaking media know that I post questions on his video when he got arrested. Who, who, who's doing the lawsuit? That, that's a lawsuit right there. That's a violation of your rights all day long. All, they, they, <laughs> I, I don't want to get into, into, into superficials here because it's just silly. But so I want to just state, I, you know, as you guys know, I have my ADHD and my OCD and I have all these things that we all have. We all have our own mental things. And so I can get off track or I can get OCD on something. So I want to try to stay on track. And so when these cop suckers come up to you, you, you have to be armed with this information. You have to be armed with the information right away. Because when they start cop sucking, you have to ask them first, have you been arrested? Have you been arrested? Have you been put in handcuffs? They, the, that's your first question. Are you guys taking off? Sorry, let me, let me say hello to some people. What's going on? How you guys doing? What's going on? Sable chicken. Is that sable chicken in the house? Is that, oh, is that, what's, what's going on, Shy? How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see everybody. How you doing? Rolling thunder. Um, you guys, uh, and by the way, thanks for sending me videos and stuff. Um, just, 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 just remember guys, and, and I'll, and I'll try to, I, I'm interested in, in Terry stops and I'm interested in seeing someone who needs to have the light shine on their injustice. If James Freeman covered their video and they, and they, and you're getting some light shined on that person's injustice, you know, Brookside, for example, lots of victims, lots of victims, lots of people to help there. So, and I've got a few people that I'm helping, but you know, um, Please don't send me cat videos and stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and please don't text me unless, you know, you know, it's just like, it's, it's just, it's pretty overwhelming. It's cool though, right? It's cool. I, I love getting mass information. I, I do love that. But, you know, you guys got to make sure that you uh, uh, shoot me an email for, for a lot of stuff. It's just easier for me because my phone going off all the time is crazy. But, um, so what's going on with everybody? So everybody got the free codes for the poster. And then when you go over to get the free poster, uh, I'm going to remind myself to text Gavin as soon as I get off here to make sure he extends those codes for 24 more hours. You can go to the website right now. And when you're there, make sure you get the Mullen Commission. Get the Mullen Commission and read the table of contents. And as soon as you read the table of contents, you're going to find something that's going to go, oh, dude, I'll go to that page. Just for you know, when I read the Mullen Commission, which I put the link in community where I read the Mullen Commission out loud, you know, when I read the Mullen Commission, I didn't read it like I did the Bible. I read the Bible from page one to last, but not, that's not how I read this. The way I read the Mullen Commission was I went to the table of contents and I found the things that I thought were interesting. Corruption plus brutality. I think that was the first section that I read in the Mullen Commission. And then, and then I really started to understand that holy, holy goodness. I thought I knew some stuff about policing. I didn't know this stuff. I didn't know this stuff. I had no idea. I had no idea. And and when loyalty begins in the police department, does, does anybody know that answer? Does anybody know the answer? Everybody hit a number one. Everybody, because I know I just start to talk sometimes. Everybody hit your number one and tell me where you guys are watching from so I can just get a barometer as, you know, so, so I understand. Aloha, Playboy. What's up in Hawaii? What's going on, Hawaii? What's up, Playboy? One, one, one. Good to see you. One, never. Listen, and by the way, guys, you know, we don't stop because this police state prison state that we're being forced to live in right now is absolutely disgusting. And just so you know, we are the power of this country. We do dictate by rule of recognition. If you guys, number one, Virginia, Nebraska, Tulsa, Akron, Ohio. And I can talk more about the rule of recognition if you guys want to, but, 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 Jersey, what's going on, brother? So, but it's important that you guys know and understand the Mullen Commission. So I'll just recap because, you know, as, as the room grows, I want to just make sure that you guys understand. You can get the digital poster and the ebook right now for free on my website. God bless you if you buy it. Thank you. But you can get it for free by using the code Overturn Terry versus Ohio VS overturn Terry versus Ohio for the free poster. And then if you want the ebook, it's 
Terry versus Ohio has to go. And you can get the ebook and the digital poster right now for free. The codes are supposed to expire at midnight, but I'm going to extend them for 24 more hours so that more people can get the stuff. And then we're going to print them out together. We're all going to print them out. Everybody's going to print out their poster so that we can then talk about different sections. I'll give you a really simple example. When you guys get the poster, you're going to see on there in 1961 is Matt versus Ohio. And then in 1963 is Kerr versus California. And so how are they similar and why does that matter so much? Why, why does it matter that you can physically see them on a, on a chart? And this is why I'm giving this to you guys. I'm giving you guys the poster. So that when you look at 1961, 1963, 61 is going to be Matt versus Ohio. Matt versus Ohio is called Fruit of the Poisonous Tree Doctrine. Meaning that when Dolores Mapp, when her house was warrantlessly searched for pornography, which is just ridiculous, they searched her and then... Map creates fruit of the poisonous tree, meaning any evidence found in the house is now poisonous and the cops can't use it in court because it was a warrantless search. Map versus Ohio creates the poisonous tree doctrine and that's passed by the Earl Warren Court. Earl Warren, 1953 to 1969, was Supreme Court Justice of the Warren Court. Now, what happened after Earl Warren passed Map versus Ohio in 1961? The police who were one of the biggest voting blocks in all of America. And how do you know that? Because in 54, when Earl Warren had desegregated America, we could talk about why he did that. But let me tell you the police response. No, we're not doing it. That's how powerful the police union and the police are in this country. In 1954, when Earl Warren's court desegregated America, then the Earl Warren court said, we're desegregating. And the police said, we're not doing it. So then go to 1961, then Earl Warren passes Matt versus Ohio, which means that if the police enter your home and do a warrantless search, that it's poisonous fruit from the poisonous tree. So it doesn't count against you in court. So now police are picketing up and down the highway to impeach Earl Warren. Now, of the 115 Supreme Court appointed majesties, none have ever been impeached. None. So it's a farce. But the police, who were, and it still remain, an extraordinarily strong political arm, they then started to picket him and say, impeach Earl Warren. Now, Earl Warren hadn't lost an election ever. He'd never lost an election. Attorney General, governor, uh, president of the Freemasons, Earl Warren had never lost an election once. He lost when he was on the vice on the ticket for president, but as vice president, and they lost. Uh, his running uh, anyway. So I'm getting lost on a tangent. So, so now Earl Warren passes uh, Brown versus Board of Education. Cops don't. They say forget you. We're not desegregating. And then in '61 he passes Fruit of the Poisonous Tree. So cops hate Earl Warren. So then in 1963, Kerr versus California, that's the knock and announce rule. So Matt versus Ohio says cops can't come in your house without a warrant. Two years later in Kerr versus California, by the exact same Supreme Court personnel, same nine people, they then pass that if the cops go to your house, they can just knock on your door, police, 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 and then come into your house. So Earl Warren, what he did is he threw the dog a bone. He had to get the cops off his back. But you need to see it on a graphic. That's why I gave you the free download for the digital poster so that you get it, right? So, so, so now you can see that the Earl Warren court, they, they had to kowtow to the, to the wants and demands of the police. That's how powerful the police union is here in America. But, but you, you have to understand that. You have to understand that. And, and the reason why, and I, and I don't want to get lost on Earl Warren too badly, but remember, Earl Warren desegregated America in 1954, but he didn't do that because he's a humanitarian. I've told this story a lot. I'll tell it again. He was the same guy who sat, there was a guy named Franklin Delano Roosevelt, as you know, he's president for 12 years and he dies in 1945, right after World War II is won. And what happens is, is in 1942, when we're in World War II, two from 1939 to 1945 and FDR's president for 12 years. And so, so when, when FDR, when we're in the war, we're at war with Japanese people. We're, we're at war with the Japanese. And what, what's going on is there's this idea, idea that the Japanese people are psychos because they started doing kamikaze bombings in World War II. They were running out of planes, they were running out of am they were running out of fuel. I mean, you can study World War II, but, but what happened is is the captains of the Japanese fighter pilots, they would let them they would gas up their tank with half a tank so that the the Japanese soldiers then had to crash their planes 
into the aircraft carriers in the midway. Maybe you guys heard of Battle of the Midway. So, so then what, what happens is the ideology begins to be, be that Japanese people are crazy. Japanese people are nuts. They're psychos. They would drive their plane into your ship and blow it up. This is, I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm not making things up. This is facts. And so then Earl Warren, what he does in California, is he attorney general or is he governor of California in 42? Someone could let me know. I can't remember. I, I think in 42, he's still attorney general of California because he's going to be governor of California. But then Earl Warren, he then goes and sits at the table of Franklin Delano Roosevelt in 1942. And he says, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, these Japanese people are nuts. Let's lock them up. Lock them up where? In Grand Central Park. <laughs> Let's create internment camps, also called prisons, and let's lock up, let's lock up, let's, let's lock up a couple hundred thousand Japanese people, because they're psychos. And so this is the Earl Warren who it desegregates America in 1954. He sits down with FDR and tells him, "Dude, we gotta lock these people up." That's who Earl Warren was. Oh, you can read about Earl Warren. He says, "I regret uh, the idea to lock." No, Earl, you don't. You don't, Earl. You don't, buddy. I hope you're burning in hell. Forgive me, I'm human. May God rest his soul because I can't forgive him for what he did. Terry versus Ohio. To give the cops a bone. So, now he sits down with FDR in 42 and says, if you don't lock these Japanese people up, they're psychos, dude. So then we create concentration camps in America to re-educate those Japanese people who are just American citizens. Come to find out the Japanese commanders were torturing their soldiers. You have no idea. That's a whole nother story. So then in 1954, now we could lock up, and I say we because I'm talking about America, but I'm not saying we in the inclusive me to being an oppressive, dungeon, crazy person like Earl Warren. America locks up, the American government, because Americans wouldn't do that, lock up 200,000 Japanese people create concentration camps. And Earl Warren has this belief that he has to know and control everything. Remember, this man is president of the Freemasons for five years. Freem you can go into a long discussion about Freemasons. So, so what he wants to do then in 54, he doesn't desegregate America because, because he's a humanitarian and the black people need to be freed. No, no. There's too many black people to spy on all of them. There's too many black people to lock them all up again. But don't think he doesn't think about that. Instead, Earl Warren appointed to the Supreme Court so that he can desegregate. Because remember, I believe it's going to be Harry S. Truman who's going to desegregate the military in 1948 after World War II. Was it 46 or 48? Truman desegregates the military because black troops in World War II performed so outstanding that Truman, who was a devout racist born in Missouri, he later would see the light when he understood the commitment and the vigor that the black men in World War II fought with to defeat Hitler. That's why Truman desegregated the military. You can look it up. So, so now what you're talking about is an America that the, the, the military is desegregated. So remember, when you have the military desegregated, those are families. Those are, those are soldiers who have families. And so those families are going home and they live with white people on the base, right? But, but now the idea is like, hey, what are we doing here? And so Earl Warren is arms twisted. So he has to desegregate because he can't keep track of all those black people. He doesn't, the, the desegregation meant different restaurants, different bars, different hospitals, everything. So Earl Warren couldn't spy on everybody everywhere. And so, you know, J. Edgar Hoover, who was running the FBI in 54, he, he ran the FBI from 1924 till 1974. He's appointed again, just like Earl Warren was appointed. And the reason why he had such a hold, like I told you about Roy Olmsted earlier, the reason why he had such a hold and power on everybody, and he was the most powerful man in America. J. Edgar Hoover goes down in history. You may not have really done a lot of research on J. Edgar Hoover, but I have. And so I'll tell you what I know. This, this man who was appointed, the reason why he held so much power is because of the phone company. You could just, he had an entire 
a unit of FBI men inside of the phone company because all they had to do was just plug into the same line as the operator and they could listen on your phone call. You guys have all heard the rumors of JFK and Marilyn Monroe. We know about that because of J. Edgar Hoover. J. Edgar Hoover spied on everybody's phone call. He was gay and he hated gay men. Yeah, this is These are facts. I mean, J. Edgar Hoover... It goes down in history with Harry Anslinger as being one of the worst human beings alive. And again, may God have mercy on me and mercy on him because I hope he's burning in hell. I really do. God forgive me for being so unforgiving in my human flesh. And I will strike down upon thee. I mean, I could go on. I'm telling you, I could be a Baptist preacher. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> and the Lord said, rise up, son, from the grave with your... So, so now, I'm sorry, I got off on a tangent, but I try to just drop as much facts, as much knowledge as I possibly can, as quickly as I can, once I get going and my brain starts to unload the, 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 the data inside. Because the more your brain is, is firing on, and that's why the visuals help so much, which is once again, why I gave you free codes to get your free digital poster and your free ebook that I sell. So I, I want you to get them, okay? So I want you to have it. I want you to have it. And I want you to get it printed out and get it on your wall. For all the people, I mean, you literally understand, hundreds of people have gotten free posters and eBooks. If I need you to go print that poster out. I need you to get on Vista Prints. I need you to print the poster out and tack it on your wall. Just put, take a tack and tack it on your wall. And start talking to people and looking at the cases and researching them and learning them. Show, show the cop suckers in Terry versus Ohio. Take a look at it. You don't got to be Einstein. Here's where Terry is. Here's the prison graph right here. <laughs> what happened, amigo? Like, like I said earlier, it takes the cop to take you to the dungeon. So I just, I just wanted to be clear. I just want to be clear. So now... If you guys have not read the Mullen, and I know I'm going on and on about it, but I want to make sure that you guys have read the Mullen Commission. I want to make sure you guys have read it. And by the way, uh, you, and some of you guys buy the poster. Some of you guys who got the 20 bucks, you buy the poster. This is how I make a living. You buy it. Do people who don't have 20 bucks, download one for you. Download one for a friend who also doesn't have 20 bucks. Yeah, I want, I want you to get the most out of it. Share it with as many people who want to read it, but don't have the dough. And for the people who got the dough, you buy. You you buy now. You buy now. Oh sh shit! I must be a racist. I was make I I uh, I did the Asian thing. Oh dude, he's a racist. Sorry, I'm sorry, Asian people. I hope you're not offended. Shoot, I forgot. I got to be politically correct. I I can't do that. That's horrible. It's the world we're living in. But just so you guys know, and I'll tell you guys, I got to Palm Springs when I walked in the door, this woman who my uncle said, oh, my nephew is doing this. He talks with a heavy Colombian accent. Right when I walked into the door, she was on me like white on rice. What are you doing, Chili? Are you, are you one of those guys that's filming cops? Why are you doing that to them? They keep us safe. You know that, right? Cops keep us safe. You know that, right? She's got her, you know, and she's, and she's telling me. And, there, and there's, there's, I can't even get a word out. That's what I walked into after driving for five hours from Phoenix to get here to Palm Springs. Uh, I get here and, and she's white on rice, dude, like on me. And I'm like, so after she's just going on and on, I don't get to say any of the things that I told you guys to say about the Mullen Commission, the Knapp Commission, the Wickersham Commission, the Seabury Commission. I don't get to say any of those things. She just ends up going, chilly. Why, why would you give the cops a hard time? Why would you bother them? They're the heroes of our country. That's how much of a cop sucker I talked to tonight. She told me the cops were heroes and that they help and they save. No, Josh, see, it's free, dude. The, the, uh, you can get the download for, all you have to do for the poster for free is put in Overturn Terry versus Ohio and you can download the, the digital poster for free. The ebook is free as well. You can just put in Terry versus Ohio has to go. It's all one word. And then you can get them both for free. Yeah, I want you to get them. That's, that's the point. That's the reason why I have those codes. That's the reason why I have those codes, Josh. So yeah, if you can afford to buy one, Josh, buy one. There it is, dude. Yeah, yeah. And learn, dude, and learn. Yeah, yeah, 100%. 
I, 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 don't, I don't have any bones about it, brother. I don't have any. I offer a service. I offer a value. And I sell a product at a very minimal price so that I offer a bigger value so that you share and give and, and with other people the knowledge that I share with you. That, 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 that's the whole point is, is the, 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 the videos that, and, and the next time I, I teach, I'll use the poster. I'll use the poster, which I'm going to go down to office max and I'm going to get another poster printed out because some lady, uh, uh, some, some lady, <laughs> a, a woman wanted the poster I was teaching on in Phoenix. So I said, I would send it to her. So I'll send her that, but I'm going to go down and get another one printed out, um, uh, tomorrow. Uh, Super Bowl tomorrow on Monday before I go to Santa Clara, before I go to Santa Clara. So, yo, freaking media, what's going on, man? Who hired your civil rights attorney? Do you hi do, are you suing Frick? Is that freaking, is it Frick? Is that the same freaking media from, it is freaking, right? I watched your videos earlier today. Thank you, Wake Up America. Um, I watched your video earlier today, freaking media, and I asked you on your video, on your comment section, who's your civil rights attorney? Um, that was a, that was a illegal detainment and an illegal arrest. That was illegal. What, what happened is that freaking media, um, you were, you were illegally arrested. Whoever was, that was an illegal arrest that, that was against that, that violated your constitutional rights. What happened right there? What happened right there? Yeah. 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 Freaking media. You, you have a civil, you, you, you know, I can't give you legal advice because I haven't passed the bar in whatever state you're in. I'm not sure what state you're in, but, but what happened to freaking media was this was a constitutional rights violation and you have a lawsuit. I can tell you that as a, I can tell you that as, as someone who's a, a, a constitutional law scholar. And like I said, like I say to people all the time, I didn't know I was a constitutional law scholar until I did enough podcasts with lawyers. And they said, no, 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 no. You, you know a lot about constitutional law. You know, and so now, now I understand what I am, but I didn't know that. I just knew I was obsessed with learning this stuff, obsessed, which I'm trying to, I'm literally giving away my products so that you will join me in this obsession with learning and looking at that poster and going, oh my God, look at that prison population. Look at that. Look at that hump. What happened? Criminalized chemicals, war on drugs, Terry versus Ohio. Whoop. Like, shoop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. I'll, hey, I'll be in Houston, Cooper. I'm heading to Houston. I'm going to go see Dennis Sperling in Houston. I'm going to go. Are you, are you guys, have you guys subscribed to uh, Sperling Unfiltered or Dennis Unfiltered? His name is Dennis Sperling. Make sure you guys, uh, listen, he, he, he has mostly a young black male audience or a black male audience, which, you know, that's the number one group affected by Terry versus Ohio, like it or not, like it or not. And I want to, I, I want those, I want those young black men to know it's Terry. It's not qualified immunity. It's Terry. I want the black community to know. I'll be in Houston in about 10 or 12 days. Somewhere in there. I'm going to go because I'm going to leave. I'm going to be in Santa Clara for a few days. I'm going to spend a couple days up there. Um, I have to do a presentation on the 15th. Dennis Sperling Unfiltered. That's the name of his channel. If you guys go over there, tell him I said hello. His, his, listen, his shows, there's a lot of shows. He, he's a lawyer from Houston. A lot of his shows are about culture about black culture and about how to be a proper black man. So you're not going to relate if you're not a black man, right? I'm not a black man. So <laughs> you can't tell. So, so, um, but then it's also about women and about black women and stuff, but he does offer a legal perspective. Now he is correct about a lot of things that, uh, the, that the criminal justice system is racist, but he's, you know, there's one, only one point that I would, you know, it doesn't matter what color the cop is. It doesn't matter if he's Mexican, black, blue, orange, purple, Asian. I don't care what color the cop is. They only see blue. They, 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 it doesn't matter. And he points it out all the time because, you know, everything is about race uh, in our country, whether we like it or not. So, so you know, he'll point out the race of the cop. And I'm I, every time you go read the comments, because I'm, I'm raw dog, I put it in the comments. Every time when I watch Dennis Sperling Unfiltered, I put in the comments, the cop's race doesn't matter, bro. The cop's race doesn't matter. They have pledged allegiance to the color blue. All those other things are gone. I mean, and th th there's, you know, my friend Octavio, I have a, m one of my best friends is Octavio. Uh, he's Mexican, the racist that I am. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to let it go till I sue those people. And so, so, so Octavio will tell you that from his perspective, the most, 
the most difficult cop in the world for him is a Latino Mexican cop. Because, and the way Octavio put it to me, this is coming directly from, from, from him, is that the Latino cop looks at him and is like, oh, he thinks he's going to fool me, but he's just like my little sister's boyfriend. He's a scumbag. And he, the, the cop will tell Octavio that. You're just like my, my cousin Puki. Oh, Puki is a black one, but my cousin uh, Jesus. You're a total lying piece of garbage. Where are the drugs? Really? really? So this is what Octavio told me. You know. So anyway, anyway, anyway. So yeah, so that's how you talk to a cop sucker. You have to educate. Commission's available for free download on deletelaws.com. The NAP commission's available for a free download on deletelaws.com. You don't even have to put a code in for those because I, I, I'm going to expire the codes for the for the free poster and the free ebook tomorrow at midnight instead of tonight at midnight. So give people another 24 hours who are just hearing because sometimes people don't watch YouTube until Saturday or Sunday. So now you guys know those free codes are out there. So if you did, if you wanted to buy it and you were waiting until payday, get it now anyway, you know, and uh, cool, 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 cool. I want, I want everybody to, to, to I, I really do want you to get it and print it out and put it on your, on your, on your wall. Yeah, I, I honestly do, you know, or, or, or why would I give it to you? <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> if, 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 if I, if I didn't want you to have it and put it on your wall, I wouldn't give you a free code for it, right? Makes sense, right? So, you know, the uh, the $15 at Vistaprint is still a great, a great option. Vistaprint's doing the 40 by 27 poster for um, 15 bucks, Vistaprint is. I think it's uh, Vistaprint. Oh, James Freeman? Is James Freeman here? I, I've never seen James Freeman come in one of the rooms. I, I love James. My, pro probably James Freeman is probably my favorite auditor. Probably my favorite auditor. Probably. Top one, that's for sure. James Freeman's an amazing auditor. Hmm. Frickin' Media, send me an email. Who's your civil rights attorney? And by the way, Frickin' Media, just so you know, that's what TACCOIN does. Did you know that? So are there any persons of justice in here? Can you guys do me a favor? Hit the number one, hit the number one button. Everybody hit the number one button if you would, please. Everybody hit the number one button. If you're still here, just, just hit number one because I, I know I've been talking forever. I'm, I'm really not sorry. Ha 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 ha. Because in this particular video, I've, I've dropped so much knowledge for you guys to follow up on. Um, and I want you to, 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 to try to follow up on these things. You know, thank you. I appreciate it. Number one, number one, number one. Where's everybody at? Where are you from? Where's everybody from? Just drop down where you guys are watching from. Anybody else? Drop where you're watching from. I appreciate it. And then everybody hit your like button if you would. Everybody just, there's a couple hundred people in here. Just reach over and hit your like button. Just just reach over and just just hit the like button. Just boom. Just 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 hit your like button for me real fast. I would really appreciate that. It would mean a lot. I appreciate it. Um, so uh, Gavin, if you're in the room, I don't know if Gavin's in the room. Will you please extend those free codes for another 24 hours? I don't, I, I can't remember Gavin's YouTube handle, but I would appreciate it if you would extend those free codes for everybody. That would be great. And then everybody will be able to get it for free if they don't got the dough. So, okay. Okay. And then, so you guys also, and then the other thing I just wanted to say is I dropped in community. I dropped in the community. Um, I, I don't know how you guys see it on your end, but I dropped in community the Mullen Commission video that I read the Mullen Commission. I go over different pages of the Mullen Commission in a video that I put in community. If you haven't seen that video, then that will show you where to look. I highlighted my Mullen Commission. So I found interesting. I opened them up. And I found the most interesting. Ah. Uh. San Joaquin Valley Transparency. What's up, Playboy? There we go. Oh, I was, I turned that blinker off. There it is, sorry about that. So, anyway, all right. So I want you guys to watch the, that, if you wanna watch that video on the Mullen Commission, it, it's in the community, I dropped it. I think only 900 people have seen it. It was before anybody really knew I was here, before a bunch of uh, YouTubers jumped in and, and introduced me to a bunch of people, which I'm super grateful for those guys doing that for me. Thank you, I really appreciate it. So, 
Uh, the code is Overturn Terry versus Ohio VS, all one word, Overturn Terry versus Ohio for the poster. And the code is Terry versus Ohio has to go for the free ebook. So, okay. So then, then you guys can download that. All right. All righty then. Um, I, I did have the guy, um, I did have Gavin put up the, I only have double XL t-shirts left. I think I have three sweatshirts left. I think I have three of these sweatshirts left and I think we put them on the website. Um, and then I want you guys to download the Mullen Commission and download the NAP Commission. Start with the Mullen because it's the, you're going to find it the most interesting. The table of contents is just dope as dope, dope. All right, cool. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the, that's the code to get in and then over Terry versus Ohio has to go. So listen, um, I'm actually working on something else for you guys now. I'm going to have a sheet for you coming out really soon here. I, I, I'm going to I'm going to work on that tonight until I fall asleep, but I put together something for you guys that is going to help you so much. It's going to help so much, a, a little cheat sheet for you guys to have. So it's almost done. I've almost finished the design of it. I'm almost done with it. So that'd be another tool in your arsenal that you'll have. To, to help you when you get into a sticky situation because sometimes when you're dealing with the police, you can kind of forget things because as you can see, sometimes my hands will shake because you're dealing with someone who has a gun and will kill you just because they have the ability and the right to kill you. So I created something for for, for you guys so that you would have a, a way to to reference the knowledge that I that I break down when I talk to cops. So I'm putting that information that I say to cops on a sheet for you guys. So now you'll be able to have that sheet, a cheat sheet for yourself. And I've done it in a really clever way so that it's, it's really easy to use. Because that was the thing. I always had this idea of a cheat sheet for you guys to, to so, you know, for myself even, because, you know, it, I'm just the guy I am now today because I went through so much trauma from being no knock rated. But, but now that I'm, under, now I understand what happened to me, not what I did. If anybody recalls you from jail, don't you ever ask them, what did you do? When someone calls you from jail, you ask them, oh my God, what happened to you, bro? Don't ever, ever ask someone. You do. You ask them what happened to you. Yes, I would love to get you and that's what I was telling freaking media. And I'm sorry I got off track a little bit. Freaking media coming less than two weeks. I think the release date is February 24th. February 24th, Tack, Tack Quinn will be done. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. Tack Quinn will be done. All right. I'm going to get the heck out of here. There's no point in me talking your ear off. Um, if anybody has any questions, make sure that you you hit me up. Make sure you hit me up. Um, I don't know what people said. Uh, you shaken? You scared? <laughs> Ask the arm gang member. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my email is delete laws at gmail or contact at delete laws.com a cheat sheet yeah i created something for you guys so cool you have no idea you have no idea what i've been working on but i've been working on it in the background i haven't said anything yet but now it's almost done and i actually talked to the printer uh about who the guy who prints the, so there's a high-end poster too that people buy it's 99 dollars or 139 dollars. one is laminated one is not laminated and people buy those from me but i never touch it all i do is send the order off to image square printing in santa monica which is the top printing place in la it's dope right the paper the quality it's it's killer so so um i was i was reading a comment that may, reminded me of that oh so i'm sorry so so we print out a high a high end one too that people people buy and they order them off the website. And so I'm trying to damn it I'm so sorry my ADD. I was reading all these comments. I told you guys I can't lecture and read at the same time. I am not very smart. I just know that I read a lot of stuff. <laughs> I read a lot of stuff and I have a brain like a steel trap. I remember everything. That doesn't mean that I'm going to be, you know, quick, you know, whatever. I'm a human being. <laughs> I'm not sorry. <laughs> oh, I can't remember. I can't remember what I was just talking about a second ago. So anyway, is there a way to speak to you over the phone about five to 10 minutes? Um, so the number one thing I would ask, no, no, number one, if uh, I, I can't give you legal advice. I can expose your story if you have a video. That's, that's, I, I'm telling you the, the, the confines of that, that, and, and remember, you, you know as well as I do, we talked about it's not Katz versus United States 1967 that gives you the right to be in charge of your effects. 
It's cats versus something else. Someone can look that up for me. I would love that. It's cats that overrules the 1927 case of Olmstead versus United States. So that's... I, 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 So what was that case though called? It was it's not Katz versus United States, is it? Is is it Katz versus United States, 1967? You see, you see you see what happens? My my brain, I I I'm such a weird person. I get it, but I get something in my head and I can't I, I can't get it out. Sometimes you know I have to know the data. It's driving me crazy. K A T Z is correct. Is it Katz versus United States, 1967? Is that what it is? I'm I'm, I'm pretty. It, it is it. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's the uh, yes, it's the privacy case law. That's exactly correct. Yes, I, I always get it confused with Kent versus Dolly's 1958. Oh. Cooper Media. So Cooper Media said, "Why do you make it about race when twice the amount of whites get killed by cops?" Oh, Cooper. Thanks for asking the question, brother. That's what he asked. Why do I make it about race? So if you're a, if you're black and you're a black guy, right? You got like one in three chance that you're going to prison. If you're a white guy, one in a hundred. You have a one in a hundred chance. If you're if you're if you're a black guy, there is a fifty percent chance when you interact with a cop that you could die. I'm sorry, I'm saying some stupid number. It's one out of three. It, listen, just look up the statistics. I, as you guys can see, my brain was starting to fry a little second ago because I'm going cats, 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 like Rain Man. <laughs> my brain's starting to fry once I start to bleh. I'm just a human being. So, so, but it's, you have a one out of three chance if you're a black man to going to the dungeon. If you get pulled over for marijuana and you're black, there is, the, they take black people to jail 50% of the time. That's the thing I was thinking of. And they take white people to jail one out of 14 times if you get caught with marijuana. So, so there's that. And then they kill... Latinos are, are the number one killed race by police per capita. And so you have one Latina, one Latino per like seven and one black man times nine and one out of like 132 white guys is killed by police. So it's twice the amount of white people that are killed numbers wise, but those are the statistics. They're, they're glaring. It's like, it's like glaring and Latinos are killed the most. And I just got the statistic last year that 8,000 people are killed a year by the police. But of course, you know, we've never kept numbers. They've never kept official numbers. And now there's only watchdog groups that keep numbers that aren't paid, aren't inside of the internal affairs. They're not at, 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 where a guy gets snuffed out and killed. So that's why Cooper, <laughs> that's why, that's why. And as you guys know, I'm 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 a staunch conservative with the Second Amendment. You should have to show your ID when you vote. I'm for strong borders all the way. I'm against any movement against Israel because they're our only ally in the Middle East. And I come from uh, uh, Fasardic, uh, Sh Shepardic Jews. I'm a descendant of Shepardic Jews. So so you know I'm, I I just I listen I just bear my soul and just just put it out there. Here that's what I am. So I I just say it. I'm not mad at you, Cooper, dude. I'm not upset with you, dude. I just, but, but that's the reason, you know, you, often when I talk to people in comments, because I'm, you know, I'm, you know, I'm, I, I, I've already said it. I'm a strange guy, right? Often in comments, I see that I'd be like incorrect data. And then I read that back later and I'm like, incorrect data. What are you doing, dude? It's a person you're talking to, right? But it's, if the data is incorrect that you put in the comment, I, the way that my brain looks at it when I'm, when I'm problem solving is that's incorrect data. The data is incorrect. It's nothing, it's nothing personal. I'm not upset with you. Just the data. And by the way, like I always say, correct me when I'm wrong. Correct me. I, I'm in, I'm per, I am, as you can see, I am not perfect. I am human. When I am wrong, correct me. I'm wrong. I'm incorrect. You know, I saw, this is hard to say, but it's true. I saw a playback one time I did an interview and I've researched and, and, and because, you know, a lot of, you know, I don't meet these people who are murdered by the police. I read their story. I follow the backlog of their Facebook. I trace down their Instagram. I try to humanize that person in my head so I can understand who was killed by the police. And I saw an interview one time I did where I put the wrong death with the wrong guy. I saw the interview back. I've never said anything. No one's ever called me on it. 
but I, I definitely put the wrong death with the wrong guy. That's really sad. It's really sad. You know, so, so that means that I definitely make mistakes and I'm human. 100% I'm human. So as you can see, my brain's starting to fry. What was the cat's case, by the way? Cats, 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 cats. What's that cat's case? What was that cat's case in 1967? Was it cats versus United States? It's driving me crazy. And Dolly, and Ken versus Dolly's was definitely 1958. So I'm okay with that. Hmm. Was it Cats versus the United States? Was that correct? Was it Cats versus the United States, 1967? Appreciate it. I'll read your email. I gotta have a video, brother. I gotta, I gotta have, I gotta have a video. I got, I gotta have a video. I, I need a video if I can do anything to help you. You know, I, I only have so much power, and since I haven't taken the bar in California yet, I can't give you legal advice. I can tell freaking media you got a constitutional case right there, though, brother. 100%. Delete laws at gmail.com. Cats versus United States, 1967. What's up, Playboy? What's up, Playboy? What's up, Playboy? All right, it's 1051 now. I want to call Gavin before he goes to bed to make sure that we get those codes extended to uh, tomorrow at midnight instead of tonight at midnight. Overturn Terry versus Ohio for the poster, all one word. And then Terry versus Ohio has to go for the free ebook for those of you uh, people who can afford to buy it. Buy my shiznits. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys tonight. Let thanks for letting me uh, talk, and I hope you guys learned something. Play this video back a few times. Let me know. Let me know if you guys uh, have any questions about anything I went over, and I'll be happy to talk about it. Okay. So once again, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. I am absolutely beat. As you can see, my eyes are starting to droop. I'm gonna get the flock out of here. Uh, thanks for the super chat. Someone dropped me a little bit of cash super chat. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. Okay, I'm going to get the flock out of here. Get the flock out of here. Ah! All right. <laughs> Love you guys. Later.